Now, uh, we're going to give you a happy Monday now. Why not? Sean Ryder, singer, songwriter, poet, 90s survivor, goggle boxer and all-round indie music legend is in the building. He is. I've just seen him through the window. He's here. He's about to go on tour with his band, Black Grape. Uh, we're going to talk to him about all that. He was in I'm a Celebrity as well, wasn't he? He was. Talk about that too. But first, let's have some of Sean's work. I'm very pleased to say that Sean uh, joins us on the sofa now. Good morning, Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I'll tell you what, you've got a busy old year coming up. You've got Black Grape just uh, the tour starting imminently. You've got Happy Mondays on tour next year. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be slowing down? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> that, that, that would really anger my missus. She just wants me out of the house <laughs> as much as possible. So she's trying to kill me. <laughs> You're enjoying life, aren't you? I oh, can yeah, tell. yeah. A big smile when you cool. walked in here this morning. Life begins at 60. It used to be 40, it's 60 now. Because <laughs> you're now 60. 61. Yeah. What was that? So what was that like when you got to that milestone? Uh, great, but I didn't have a party. I didn't want to, you know, be celebrating. What? The, I think people the, will be a, a bit disappointed by yeah, that. Well, it's all right, they're not celebrating you know your 60th. I, mean? I partied for about 25, 26 <laughs> years, non-stop. <laughs> Really? Do you not party at all anymore? No. My mucky does. He still thinks he's 21. <laughs> Bez. let to keep telling him. So... He's 59. <laughs> but so seriously, if you're invited to a party now, you don't go? No, I'm, I'm antisocial anyway, so I just wouldn't go. Sure, what's happened? <sighs> yeah, you get old, senile. Not senile. But, I mean, how are you? You're doing well? I'm you... old and senile. No, you're not. <laughs> but you've talked about health stuff in the past, haven't you? Yeah. Quite oh, yeah. open. Oh, yeah. But all Full good? Full body alopecia. You know, that, so that's a good one. Checking how you look with no eyebrows and eyelashes. <laughs> hey, I recommend it to everybody. Get rid of your eyebrows and eyelashes. How's the uh, prep going for the, uh, the Black Grape tour? Yeah, great, really. Great. Love Black Grape. Yeah. I guess there'll be a lot of Brand new album coming out. Don't know when. I've been told we've done one. <laughs> I was been told I went... told you've done told one. Told you I get, when I did that last jungle in South Africa, I went straight to Spain, so they tell me. And made an album. Can we talk about the jungle? You've yeah. Been there, you've been there twice. Yes, I have. I'm Not many people boy. have been there twice. No. Uh, how, what, what was it like first time? What was it like second time? What do you think of the new lot? Well, the first time, it was, to me, it was, you know, it was a breeze. You know what I mean? I mean, it was 48 years old the first time, right? And it was, you know, I was in OK. The second time, I was 60 with uh, false hips and uh, cracked spine and, and loads of other stuff. But I really didn't think, when they asked me what, would I do it, I just went, yes, straight away, because I had a blast the first time. I didn't want to go home. It was like some Vietnam soldier who stayed in the jungle who was sat there wanting to carry on eating beans, <laughs> you know? And... Uh, Anyway, when he asked me again, I just said, yeah. And then as I'm getting on the plane, I'm thinking, what have you done, you <laughs> mutt? <laughs> and was it every bit as tough as he thought it might be? Well, it was just, you know what I mean, it was just... It, it, so, I mean, I still had a blast. I still, you know, had a great time, but it was a lot, uh, it was a lot harder. Yeah. Uh, going back to the music, so you've got you, the Black Grape. And actually, people potentially in the UK will know you more for Happy Mondays than Black Grape, but around the world... Black Grape more successful? Yeah, I mean, Mondays have become this iconic band, you know what I mean? And, and we've been at it, really. I mean, we, we've, we started again in 1999, 
left it out for a couple of years, and then in 2010, we've been at it since 2010, for what, so that's 13 years now, but, you know, hammering that and making, you know, all over the place, and let's say it's become iconic. But Black Grape, you know, we had, uh, we was, you know, we sold more records. We was, uh, you know, more well-known around the world, you know, so, uh, but the Mondays, because, because we've worked it, it's become iconic. So I want to, you know, go and put a bit into Black Grape now. Yeah. And of course, Mantra of the Cosmos. <laughs> exactly. And also, you're doing a QA, and a I think, next year, aren't you? So oh, people, yes, yes. If people want to come and listen to you, what, what are you planning on that? Who's, well, who's going to give the questions? Yeah, well, probably, I, I mean, it's going to be different people. I mean, I know John Robb's going to be doing some. John's great. But, I mean, you can go anywhere you want on that. I, I, I'm really enjoying the Q&As, you know, it's my sort of theatre tour, isn't it? <laughs> I'm doing a theatre, <laughs> doing the Q&As. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I don't DJ anymore because, like, the Q&As, I'm, I'm, I'm done and dusted for half past ten. You know, you, you're not going on doing a, a DJ slot till two o'clock in the morning, you know. It's not like, you know... It's not dignified, mate. But the old days, you'd have been saying, Don and Dusted half ten, and then I could go out and party. But well, so, at yeah. half ten now, what would you do? Well, uh, watch, the, watch the end of the news and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought it, Sean? Well, we all get, you know, we all get on, don't we? You can't stay 20 forever. So what's the morning normally like for you? What's breakfast time normally like? Oh, madness, cos we've still got two kids left at home, two teenage girls who are insane. <laughs> When you're trying to get him into school. <laughs> do you do the school run? Both with ADHD. So, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Nice to come to the sofa for a bit of a break When, I, when I'm sober enough to morning. drive, I'll do, I'll do it. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a bit of Sean there. There's a bit of Sean there. All that makeup I just put on my face has gone in my, in my mouth. I've got dry lips. Really? Well, I... I... We can get you some lip balm. No, I'm all right. I just need... Uh, Do you want some water? Some water on show. Yeah, exactly. Just on the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you watch I'm a Celebrity last night? I couldn't because we was working last night, so uh, um, I, I couldn't watch it, but I've got to watch it because I, you know, I, I've, I'm going to have to do Zooms and phone calls talking about it. Well, your goggle box, of course, as well. He's... Yes, yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy doing that? Oh, yeah, it's great. I mean, you know... They come around, you don't have to move out of the house. They come around to our gap, bring us some booze, and I'm sat there with my best mate talking <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> and getting well, paid for it. And getting paid for it, yeah. Just uh, finish, to finish on I'm a Celebrity, we've been talking about Nigel Farage. He's obviously the big celebrity name. What do you reckon? What are his chances? Uh, ooh, I don't know, you know. I really don't know. I mean, look, it can go either way, can't it? It can go either way with him. It can. You're absolutely right, Sean. Let's see what he's uh, really made of. It's great to see you. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Sorry Thanks to having me. deprive you of the school run this morning. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we did him a favour. Yeah. Uh, Black Grape Store starts on Friday. Where else? But Manchester. Indeed. Manchester. You are watching BBC Breakfast. It is 8.59.